Okay. Say hi, Corey. Hi, Corey. We're here. Corey is going to play Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles for Turtles in Space. And he's going to fuck that shit up. Fuck it. He's going to fuck it. Fuck it right. Like a chicken. That's what I'm Real fast. I didn't any of those Seizures. Things. Seizures. They were, they were different. From Here's the thing. Show. It probably said that Raphael was cool but crude, and that Michelangelo was probably a party dude. So I'm gonna I'm Don't gonna... be a bitch, but put the continue count up to like no, a was, million. No, this I was gonna just put give myself a fair amount of lives. Oh, you wanna rest? You wanna I want rest, rest. I want some rest. You're so rest. You can't, actually can't the difficulty oh, is the continue. Oh that's weird. So normal is fine. So it's not actually making the game harder. Yeah, it is, but well, but it gives harder you more by dying. Harder by dying. Also, this is weird. If you choose comic, it looks a little different. But I'm Does not it? used. To, it, I I'm can't. Not, I, well, I'm not, I can't tell the difference. I can't tell the difference. It doesn't change it here. Which it one's better? Which here. one's better? I always just play an anime. Which one's better? Which one's better? So we're swinging like a pair of nuts. Okay. On a hot Tuesday oh, in God. July. All right, I'm gonna play Raphael. Raphael's He's gonna wreck it. He's I'm cool. Gonna, I'm gonna fucking wreck it. Yeah. Okay, here's here's Tits O'Neil. Poor Tits. He fucking prang he just, through to 50 feet. He just oh, stole it. Stole the Statue of Liberty. Hey Shredder, bring that statue back, you stupid bitch. Oh, we called him a beanbag. Oh, that's something you sit what, in. What would you do if someone called you a beanbag? I'd fucking piss in their mouth. So, mm. Big Apple. The big asshole. 3 a.m. Look at that bridge they're on. Uh, oh, hold on. You just, I'll, fi I'll figure it out. Figure yeah, you it got out. it. You got it. I'll figure it out. There. We did it. Boom. Full Toss and fills uh, like a motherfucker. Uh, so, Raphael is the quickest of the turtles. But weakest. I wouldn't say weakest, but he doesn't have the range. See? I gotta be, I gotta He's got be, no range. He's only got one character. I gotta be way up on. Way up on. That'll be rough on the bosses, I'm sure. Also, like, these foot soldiers explode when they're done, so are they fucking robots or what? I don't fucking know. I think in the games, they're all- and the car- well, even in the cartoon, they change- there's always supposed to be robots. I had a- I had a lot of Ninja Turtle toys when I was young. Oh, yeah? Because there was a time when I was not, like, dirt poor. Oh. When I was, like, maybe lower middle class. Sure. And so almost every time I got to go to the store, I'd get a fucking Ninja Turtle. So I had like a dozens of them. Dozens. On I remember I had a foot soldier watch it, watch. that was like, it had like gold robot faceplate underneath. Man. You take, you take off the mask and there is a robot faceplate. That's plate. fancy. So, but does that imply that there are ones that aren't robots? Or is it special no, one? here's the thing. Uh, uh, I know for a fact that in the original comic, they were people. Because the turtles were slicing them left and right and they were bleeding. In the cartoon, because it's a cartoon for kids, I think they specifically made them all fucking robots so that they could blow them up and trash them. And notice how they never actually really do that much fighting with Bebop and Rocksteady or Shredder. Like, they don't actually physically fight them that much. And there's no fucking lens flying or anything, you but know? But in the movies, yeah, oh, sure. the foot soldiers are people because yes. they're, they're recruiting yes. kids in one of them. I don't yes. remember which one. Well, the movie, the first movie especially, the second movie's eh. The first movie especially was really good. It's one of the best comic book adaptations or video game. Either way, pick your, take your pick. It was a nice, happy medium between the dark nature of the comic and, like, the light, fun nature of the fucking show. Like, it mixed elements from both, and that was, it was well done. It was really well done. Also, fuck Baxter Stockman. This fucking Jeff Goldblum motherfucker. Funny thing about Baxter Stockman in the first in the comic, I only read the first few issues of the old comic just to see what it was like. In the comic, uh, April O'Neil was a scientist and she was his assistant. She wasn't a fucking uh, reporter. That's more right there. Yep. In the they changed. Oh uh, well, that's not nice to him, but I mean, sure. Watch what happens. Up. Why did he fucking him up? It's like he punched him so hard. Oh, that's ouch. Cowabunga! Cowabunga. Yappa dappa do! Dino likes oh, you! Fucking give me a pizza with peanut butter and marshmallows on it. Yeah. <laughs> peanut butter and cat dicks. 
So look at this. Look yeah? at this. Oh, if I can hold on. Alright. No, I want What are you on. doing? Hold what are you on. doing? Okay, there we go. Boom! Fuck him! Fuck him! Fuck him! Fuck him! Oh, oh god. This is, this is Ninja Turtle. This is real. Yeah, we're, we're messing with the real deal now. Yeah. Gotta throw your sorry ass out on the street. Oh man. Oh, they're throwing knives. Okay, it's just, just getting real. It okay, is. It's just getting real. They're just. Oh man. Fuck off. There's just so many different colors of foot soldier. It's true, they're like uh, the new Daleks. Yeah, that's true. Fuck them. Fuck those Daleks. That. Uh, oh, you can hit that back from somebody fucked you up. You did, you fucked up. Fun fact uh, the new Doctor Who show sucks. Yes, I said it, it fucking sucks. If you so, don't like my opinion, fuck you. Have you seen the one with the new, the cranky guy? I don't want to, but sure. It's better than- I, I wasn't big on, uh, happy fucking hyper who. The young guy? The Matt, super young yeah, guy? Yeah, Matt Smith. Like, I watched a season or two of it for some reason. Yeah. Maybe that's- earlier we were talking to each other about, like, what's a show that you didn't really enjoy but you felt like you just had to keep going? There you go. Matt Smith. I stuck with Matt Smith for much longer than I was actually enjoying. Didn't you say that you kind of liked the guy from Harry Potter? David Tennant? The Tenth. Doctor, I've seen yeah. literally, like, two episodes, but oh. they were fine. He was... Okay. I fucking hated the Ninth Doctor. He was Didn't, angry. He was angry. He was emo. He was fucking... It, like, like, an action star. Kind of basically what they did to James Bond and Sherlock Holmes in recent movies. You know? Lame. Oh, bomb. Bomb, bomb pizza. pizza. Look at that. That pizza's the bomb. Oh, I forgot to keep going. You did. I thought more guys would come in. No, you didn't. Oh, I got a one out. I love... Fuck that guy. I love the original Doctor Who. My favorite Doctor is uh, John Pertwee, the third Doctor, the first colored Doctor. He was awesome. He was badass. Corey? Corey's favorite is, is Tom Baker. Yeah, I go Tom which Baker. Which is my second favorite. Honestly, I love all four of the, the first four... Look at this guy. I, I forgot metal what this head. guy's deal is. Metalhead, he's just a metalhead. Maybe you had to come at him from above. Just come at him, bro. You had to come at him from another Z. And you just gotta go for it. Just give it to him. Oh, look at that. Lasers. You can't trust people with no, chest lasers. No. That's a life lesson. Don't trust people with chest lasers. Or chest guns in general. Well, sure. You learned that from the first Austin Towers movie. Yep. I, uh... Watch it. Uh, uh, see, it makes sense that he would explode. He's a robot. He's a robot. True story. He explodes a lot more. Back to Stockman just went boom off the side. Okay, here's the thing. To finish my the Doctor Who Doctor thought, Who. Uh, I love all four of the first Doctors. Uh, fuck the BBC for being negligent and not preserving a lot of episodes from the first two Doctors. That sucks, because we'll never get to see those stories. That's true. Um, I used to really... I, the fifth Doctor, the first 80s Doctor, is okay. Uh, I used to really dislike the sixth and seventh doctors, but I'll tell you what, true, true facts, real talk, uh, now, as bad as the 80s Doctor Who got, give me any of that shit over any of the new shit. Ninth, tenth, eleventh, twentieth doctor, I don't care. Like, they just, it's, the reason, the main reason that I don't like the new Doctor Who, being a longtime Doctor Who fan, is because it seems like it's bad Doctor Who fan fiction. It's a bunch of Doctor Who fans writing these new stories and going, hey, wouldn't it be neat if? And that's what they do. And to me, like, fill it, for one thing, they're committing a cardinal sin trying to fill in a bunch of backstory for the Doctor. You're not supposed to know shit about Doctor Who. He's a fucking enigma. It doesn't matter what his past is. You don't need to learn what his past is, you know, who his wife was, what he did when he was in college, whatever. It doesn't matter. So then bringing all this past made-up bullshit that I've heard about, not seen, like fucking River Song and whatever, I don't even want to fucking know. <laughs> I'm just... No, it's a bunch of garbage is what it is. Corey? Eh. Yeah? I don't, I don't keep, so I have, one of my sister's friends is uh -oh. super way into, like, all the fucking, uh, dog, here's the fucking it's the rat fucking king, rat, king. Point rat king. kings are real things. Yep. 
There are when a bunch of rats, like, all their tails get fused together and just dirt and muck, and they, they're they forced to live as, like, one entity. Just oh, like, they can't get unstuck. oh, geez. Oh, jeez. That's real. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, there have been times when I've learned a lot more Doctor Who lore than maybe sure. I would have cared yeah. to go and look up. That's un- that is unfortunate. And at some point it gets to be like, really? But, you know, it's whatever. So, like, I would agree that, generally speaking, I don't want to know things. I think that... Like, that's one of the reasons I like the Mega Man X plot so much, yeah. is I don't want to know what happened between Mega Man and Mega Man X. I'll be curious forever, and by all means give me hints and get me started, but don't come in and say, well, this is what actually happened. Right. Um, it, the appeal of the original show versus the new show is that while the new show has a bigger budget and better special effects, the acting, as far as I'm concerned, and the writing especially, are subpar. They are not as good. The original show was a fucking, up oh, Thunderdome. It's a Thunderdome. Technodrome. Let's kick shout. Next time. Next time I'm going to tell you all time. about it. I'm going to tell you all Next about it. Next time, Technodrome. Techno Thunderdome. Let's kick shout.